in this video, we will create a read component and we will try to read data from Firebase real-time database. And to do that, the first thing is, of course, create a read component. So let's just say read.js and react functional component shortcut. And that's it, our component is ready. Now let's integrate this into app.js routing here. So just copy this route paste it down and copy these go down and again let's make this neat that's it now uh, now our routing is complete we can now focus on the component so open the component first thing to do is again copy these import lines and go up here and paste it and instead of Instead of using this set and push functions, we will use get, and that's it. So the first thing to do is to create a button. Our button is ready, but we will need to add an on-click event here. So let's add it, and maybe we can say fetch data. Let's first create our array. Let's say good array. Now we can create our function actually. And we need to make this function asynchronous because it will read data from a database. And the first thing is again point to database to create a variable which will point to database. So we will say plus database is equal to get database. And here, just like our write function, we will grab this app here. That's it. Now we will create a reference. So I mean reference to where the database, uh, the data is located. So let's say const database reference or data reference. And here we just say reference this is again a special method here. And grab the database here, comma. And if you don't remember where the date, where the data is located, just go to your real time database. And here you see there is nature as the parent folder and fruits as the subfolder. And then we have the values here. So open some codes, nature, fruits. That's it. And now we can make a snapshot. We will name it also as snapshot. And you can name it something else, but the convention is to name it as snapshot. And we will get the data. So let's see. Ah, this time we will use get function. Yeah. We will say wait get. We will get what? We will get the data at this data location, DB reference. And after that, if there is data, if snapshot exists. It means we can do something more and display it, isn't it? So the first thing is to, is to grab snapshot value. I will now explain you these functions. And then we will cover this snapshot value because this is going to be the first operation on that data. And in the sec as as our second operation, we will use object of values. Let's now, I prepare these notes actually for you so that you will understand it better. Here, our data before calling any function on it. I mean, this is the data that is inside, inside Firebase database. So we can define this data as a JSON-like format. And I told you that our first operation is going to be snapshot.val. This is a special method. And what it does is it converts these JSON-like data into a JavaScript object. And later we have done the second operation, object.values on that data. So when we use this function on this object, on this JavaScript object, it will just remove those uh, data identification number. I mean, and then it will save them inside an array, not inside an object, but inside an array. So that's it. And I think that was an enough explanation. And after that, we are, of course, saving it inside an array. And 
now let's see else in else situation what will happen we can just alert the user that there is an error and actually our component is finished but we need to also create our map so to create map let's first create an unorganized list and now let's grab this array here and then we will call map and the first parameter is the item and the second parameter is the index number of the item so that we can track it and now actually we can just display the data in a in a tag you know in a jsx tag so we can use list we need to use it with the key because we are using map function so the key is going to be the index index is going to be the index number of the item inside the fruit array and now the first value here we will say item and do you remember how we structured our data if you don't remember it's fine just go here open one of them you see there is fruit name as and fruit definition as like uh, keys so you can just grab them and use them here and our component is finished actually let me see if anything is missing no that's nice now we can read data let's start now let's go to the read route nice let's display data everything looks fine so that's how you read data from firebase real-time database if you like this video please like and subscribe see you next time bye bye